Good afternoon, it's Tony from Paranormal Investigation UK. Today's date the 15th of January 2022. And today we're looking at a movie 333 from the Chester case. That's 333 reviews on this particular property location in Chester already. And um, we're now at uh, the 9th of April. The... Um, so we've got a fair few there, so we'll probably be hitting striking 400 uh, before very long, um, which is emphasised the extraordinary catches that, that we've actually been getting from this uh, particular property. So, January and February were quite a busy couple of months. It then began to subside slightly. So what we actually had, we've got the 2nd of March, um, 3rd of March, 4th of March, 8th of March, 13th of March. So it's starting to get split up a little bit now. 13th of March again, 20th of March, so it gets so jump from the thirteenth to the twentieth. So that's hmm, ten days. Thirteenth, eighth. There's like five days. Then another couple. Then ten days. Thirteenth, thirteenth. Well, I'm actually going to. What I'm actually doing with this? I spoke to me, colleagues Amanda and Andy. <clears throat> we have had periods in this room where the phenomena is what I call recycled. It would be uh, busy for ten days, then it just flatline for three days. Back for ten days, flatline for three. Um. When we took on the um, main room as well, the phenomena moved from one room to another. It got difficult to to do anything because the cameras had to be intermittently be removed as the as um, possible tenants were were shown round. So what we were decided to do uh, at some point, I'm actually going to go because we've been dealing with this case since May of of 2020. I'm actually going to go and mark it in a, an Excel spreadsheet the date each month and put a number as to how many events have occurred, if it's one, two, three, four, or if it's nothing. And put it into grass farm just to see if we can get any pointers with this because it is strange at times. Sometimes it's really, really busy. There's stuff going off all the time. Then it just simply flatlines like there. We've had a, a period of 10 days. Uh, Seven days there. Uh, yeah, seven days. That's the twentieth. That's the twenty second. Twenty seventh. Another five days. Of nothing. Third of April. How many days in April last year? March should say thirty days of April, June and November. Thirty one. So it's four seven. Days to the third of April. And now on the ninth of April. So we are seeing this um period of um 
sporadic activity. So we now got from the 2nd of April to the 9th, so we've got Hmm, seven days. Um, quite unusual. Uh, I'm just looking for patterns, so we'll, we'll see anyway. So on this particular day, that we've got four videos have been presented to us uh, at various times. Um, I've got them in uh, order. So the one that we're going to look at now is is timed at twenty. 47 the ninth being a Friday night we then go to I think it's this one which is 2216 and another 2204 a bit before it these seem to be light anomalies what also happened this day which I asked the owner to record for me is they started to find dead bees all over the place and this was on the 9th of April um, and we have no reason it's something you don't see every day yeah and there was literally bees although they're just dead bees um, And that's in the empty room. Um, they'd gone in there to inspect the camera and just fell across it. We, we have no explanation why that is. Um, a quite strange one. So, uh, 60, 70, just dead, dead, not bees, wasps, I should say, dead wasps. All right, okay. So, that's that one. I thought, I thought I'd share that one with you. Um, Right, so we're now into movie 333. Let's have a look at this straight into media player. Um, it's a strange one there. Back to the beginning. You swear someone was in the room. Uh, that's the only door in and out. And we're certainly not in the year and a half that we've had this case. We've never had anything like that before. Uh, only this camera, single camera, picked it up. So what we're talking about here is that there. That's the camera. That's the door. This camera, nothing else picked anything up. So if someone's in that hallway, for example, we'll pick it up. It doesn't happen. Um, is it possible bleed from the other room? <clears throat> it's never happened before. <clears throat> so it's a strange one. So the only thing I can actually do with this is to simply analyse it. Because I think it's just too noisy to think it that... that yeah, you know, on earth could this have a paranormal explanation for it? Because it's so, so noisy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load it into um, Mitzcraft. There's nothing visual for me to see. So there's nothing there. Uh, open up the wrong software. Go away. 
Um, let's pop it in here. So there's nothing visible to see, so uh, I'll get rid of that track. As you can see, this, this sound all, all the way through. Um, I just find it extraordinary that when you look at it, you know, the... It sounds very, very close to the microphone source, which is the one that's making... I find it quite baffling because we've not dealt with something like this noisy before. It's like somebody in and out of the room. Um, yeah, there's no one in there. And the, the camera picks up no movement whatsoever. So there's nothing to see. The only thing we can concentrate on is the actual audio itself. So let's see where this takes us. Um, I'm not entirely sure what, what I can do with this video. Um, Cause all I can do is confirm there's a noise there. Hmm. There may be some Go back a touch. Let me just go for real time. Yeah, it seems to whatever it is, it's making the same sound. Turn up a touch. Let's go back to real. What on earth are we listening to here? Um, The thing is with this, this is it, um, 10 to 9 on a Friday night, the building was apparently deserted, there's nobody there. There's no guarantee that nobody hasn't stayed behind. This is why I'm careful with, with the the building um, itself. There's a presumption that um, if you only work 9 to 5, you only work 9 to 5 when, you know, as I found out before, people have stayed behind. I've, I've found the owner in one room at seven o'clock on a Saturday night. <coughs> so it's quite possible. Um, but whether this is, this has got to be close to the microphone source because it triggered it.
I'm just trying to find something that can. It's going to turn the volume down. I'm actually going to get a fix on the frequency. Um, because it's just all low low end bass frequency um, of the thumping um, uh, uh, I have absolutely no idea okay put that in there right what I'll do now is, is as I'll just write that up uh, oh, this is about as much as I can actually um, do with this one um, that the camera is picked up considerable amount of noise and I haven't got an explanation for who it is um, we've also got five cameras in now um, yet the only camera picked it up alerted nothing to be seen so it's obviously done on sound and I can't find a reason for the sound so um, don't have the answers for everything and that one I certainly don't so, okay, see you on the next movie. Cheers. And if you've got any ideas what that might be, let me know. Because in principle, no one should be in the building.